<clears throat> All right, this is going to be the topic five video, just a, a background for things that you should already know so far. First of all, what is energy? It's the measure of how much work an object can do. Well, what's kinetic energy? Well, moving objects can do work. How much? And how is velocity related to kinetic energy? The faster an object is moving, the more work it can do. So therefore, it has more energy by velocity squared. Your formula that we're going to use today is kinetic energy equals mass times velocity squared over 2. Alright, so this is page 20 of your notes. And uh, if you're doing these notes for the first time, you want three examples that we're going to do. So you can just divide your page up into three sections. And the only objective is to be able to solve problems that involve finding either mass, velocity, or kinetic energy. It's very direct, no tricks, use the formula. Alright, so uh, take a minute please and, and write these down as we go through them. So pause the video and write down the examples. So they're going to be pretty direct. If you have good notes, you should just be able to have a nice little cheat sheet to do on the test. So first question, what is the kinetic energy? So this is what we want. Of a 10 kilogram dog running with a velocity of 2. So kinetic energy is our question. Mass equals 10. Velocity equals 2. Our formula, kinetic energy equals mass times velocity squared over 2. That's 10 times 2 squared over 2. 10 times 4 over 2, 40 divided by 2, or 20 joules. What would the new kinetic energy be if the dog's velocity were to double? Well, velocity kinetic energy is related to velocity squared. So if you double velocity, then we have 4 times the kinetic energy. So the answer should be 80, so let's try it. 10 times 4 squared over 2. 10 times 16 over 2. 160 divided by 2, 80 joules. Example number 2. What is the mass? So now we're finding mass of a cart that has 10,000 joules of kinetic energy and a velocity of 20. Mass, we don't know. Kinetic energy equals 10,000 and velocity equals 20. So 10,000 equals mass times 20 squared over 2. And now we have some algebra steps to do here. So the first thing is move the denominator. So we have 20,000 equals mass times 20 squared. 20,000 equals mass times 400. And now we need to solve for mass. So divide by 400 on both sides. And do I have a calculator here? Tools. Twenty thousand divided by forty. Fifty on the nose, fifty kilograms. If you divide twenty thousand by four hundred, we get fifty kilograms. What happens if the mass doubles? Kinetic energy is directly related to mass. So two times mass, kinetic energy should double. So if we have 100 times 20 squared divided by 2 equals, we've now doubled, oops, sorry, doubled the mass, but we kept everything else the same. 100 times 400 divided by 2, 
Let's so what's 100 times 400? 100 times 400 equals 40,000 divided by 2 equals 20,000. So we doubled our original math, kinetic energy. So it's true. If you double the mass, you have twice as much kinetic energy. And finally, how fast? So we don't know velocity. We know the mass equals 0 0.5 kilograms. And kinetic energy equals 500,000 joules. So our setup is 500,000 equals mass, 0 0.5 times we don't know, divided by 2. Algebra through it now, times 2, 1 million dollars equals 0 0.5 times velocity squared. Next step, I'll do it in blue, divide the 0 0.5 and that equals 2 million equals v squared, not done, then we square root it. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three, squared. Hmm, which one of these buttons? Here it is. Four, four, seven, two meters per second. Very fast. Four, four, seven, two meters per second. So, a lot of algebra. Nothing a little bit of practice can't fix. The good news is if you take direct notes and carefully write out all of the steps, you'll have a nice little map to follow on quiz day. All right, that's it. Now go to the Kinetic Energy Practice link and do the problems on page 19, I think. Hold on. Yes, this will be on page 19. When you do the practice questions for kinetic energy, it's going to be topic 4 and 5 practice. Please do them on page 19.